Welcome my Magic Lotus tribe. This reading is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Thank you for joining me today. Um, leave what, take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Don't try and make it fit. That is the disclaimer. Uh, it doesn't, it just does not take, um, this does not replace professional help, therapy, and et cetera, et cetera. You can read all the disclaimers below. Um, my beautiful Cappies, my Capricorns. We have the Four of Swords here. We have the Chariot, the Two of Swords, and the Page of Swords. So let's get some clarifying cards. Archangels, Ancestors, and Divine, let's clarify the Four of Swords. Right. Here. Angels, ancestors, and divine. Clarify the chariot. That's perfect. Ooh, that's a lot. So let's do that. Let's clarify the chariot. Let's clarify the two of swords. Angels, ancestors, and divine. Let's clarify the two of swords. Two of swords. And eight of swords. of swords okay that's one and an extra card popped out it's the king of pentacles so this came out of left out of nowhere so let's just get a clarification i think it's ancestors and divine clarify this king of pentacles oops i fell down Ooh. okay three of swords on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups here. And then the bottom of the clarifying deck, we have the King of Cups. Can you guys see that? So let's see how this story unveils. Um, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the signs that we have on the table here are, we have air with the swords. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo with the King of Pentacles. And the Chariot can be Cancerian. Um, and I said Cups, right? We have the Ace of Cups here. Um, that's Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel a lot of like heaviness here energetically. I feel heavy energy in the sense of like heartbreak, um, lower energies, mentally. Yeah, definitely depression, mental battles regarding karmic situations, um, situations that are keeping you bonded in a sense that you're not able to speak your freedom, uh, speak your, uh, speak your freedom, speak your truth and be free. There we go. Um, it may involve a Taurus Capricorn, obviously you're saying to Virgo, um, clarifying that because that card just popped out. So whoever this message is for, um, it's regarding a breakup for sure, because that was the clarifying card for the King of Pentacles, and that just came out of nowhere. So uh, definitely, I feel a third party um, energy here with this DMDF situation, um, soulmate, uh, twin flame energy. So I feel that whoever it is, in whatever scenario, it can be DMDF that is in a karmic or both of them in a karmic situation where um, they have to definitely stand in their truth with the King of Swords here and be rational on the next steps that they take and understand standing in their truth and um, having their truths be illuminated through healing here with the Four, the four of Swords through healing it's a healing process through this heartbreak through this um 
this breakup, you know, um, and transitioning into a divine union. Um, putting down with the Ten of Wands, putting down uh, tens are ending of cycles. So ending that cycle, putting down your burdens, and with the Nine of, of Pentacles walking in your... Um, in your abundance and talking about walking away we have the chariot here and clarifying is a six of swords and moving in a positive direction um this energy of you know the two of swords it's moving away from that and moving to a space of um opportunity of love um, coming forward and you're, it's, it feels like that clarity is coming to you with a lot of these swords and through healing. Um, I definitely would recommend meditation for my Capricorns right now. Uh, meditation, seeking within, helping to heal, um, energetic healing as well. Um, with the Page of Swords here, being in, standing in that truth of what was these are the clarifying cards for the page of swords so we have the five of cups the lovers and the ace of cups so what this is saying is um again i'm telling you i felt that heavy energy with the devil card the three the three of swords and the five of cups um definitely this heavy mental space and getting out of that depression getting out of that negative mental space of um relationship of a karmic relationship that it's it was really holding you down really really holding you down and um with the um page of swords it's it's coming with that honesty that true honesty of what was broken what was lost moving forward into with the, the lover's card a, a balance of love um this divine love that is coming towards you and understanding that that is what needs to be illuminated that needs to be the driving force um at the bottom of the deck is the king of cups is that is what needs to fuel your emotions it's this divine connection understanding that this is a blessing coming towards you and um take that opportunity again on the bottom of the deck as well was the ace of cups so definitely taking this new love to the next level and also the lover's card also does re represent the twin flame journey as well um jim uh, gemini i think it's gemini uh correct me if i'm wrong on the bottom and um the cups too we have Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio. Understanding that you receive healing. It's like this relationship, this divine, sacred union of love will in turn help help you in your healing process. It's a healing, it's a healing love, a healing energy, which definitely is what you need. And that's what I'm getting for you, my beautiful Capricorns. Um, let's pull from the manifest soul, uh, blah, blah. manifest soulmate oracle card deck. Let's see what spirit wants to say. Our angels, ancestors, and divine. What is the message for my Capricorns? All right, that just flew out out of there. It says you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. It says, follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. So definitely, if you haven't came into union with your divine counterpart, definitely I would suggest um, energetic clearing, healing thyself. Once you heal yourself and your energies and clear that up, then you'll be able to attract this divine counterpart and this divine counterpart will bring um, a restored energy, um, 
you both are in a whole space and coming together. So definitely um, use the cycles of the moon. New moon is December 12th. I think it's in Gemini. Um, definitely take that time to manifest um, this into reality, this divine union. And for that is all I have for you, my Capricorns. Namaste. Don't forget to share, like, and comment below. Bless you.